Hello guys, hello Philippines, this is Mike Padua from Naga City, Camarines Sur, giving you the very latest on the tropical water analysis across the Philippines and the Western Pacific. And this is for today, Thursday to Saturday, September 26 to 28, 2024. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. Now let's begin with our update. We have a couple of uh, tropical systems forming right now across the uh, Philippine Sea and the Western Pacific. And it looks like we might be having another busy weekend to early next week as a new LPA is uh, currently forming rapidly to the east of Taiwan and Batanes area. So this is in wake of uh, the uh, uh, northeast movement of uh, tropical storm Simacon. There's a small system here which is currently weakening and it's just a tropical depression. And below that uh, uh, system, uh, a trough has rapidly developed into a tropical disturbance or LPA which is now known as 97W. And within the next 24 hours, it may develop into a tropical depression. And it will stay there or quasi stationary for the next uh, three days until it moves. Either it will track towards Taiwan or across uh, the area of the uh, Batanes uh, group. Okay, that's the possible scenario. There's also a scenario that it may pass here over the Ryukyu Islands. So those are the three uh, potential paths of this uh, rapidly developing LPA. And uh, most likely this will be named uh, Julian or Julian. And uh, it might pose a threat across extreme northern Luzon. So we will going to monitor this system. And uh, aside from this one, we have uh, Cimarron, which is already a tropical depression from a... Uh, uh, tropical storm and we have another one here which is an active LPA which could become uh, another tropical cyclone but no worries this system will track towards here and there's also another one here but most of the computer models doesn't show this uh, this uh, system maybe just a weak LPA moving towards the north and so far when it comes to the mainland uh, Philippines there's no problem okay uh, there will be only uh, widespread or occasional rains brought about by the development of Julian, which is likely to form somewhere here. And if you're asking, how about the southwest monsoon, the Habagat? We have some good news since we are on the dry phase of the modern Julian oscillation. So we expect the southwest monsoon will remain on a break and probably it will be the last that we saw last week. And the southwest monsoon will already end. Okay, so uh, it's uh, purely easterly right now in uh, some parts of the Philippine Islands, including here across the Bicol region. But nothing to, know, to worry about. If this becomes a strong typhoon, it will just affect the uh, areas of Batanes and northern Cagayan based on what we are seeing on the rain forecast, including Ilocos Norte. So. Watch out for thunderstorms and occasional rains within the outer bands of this uh, potential typhoon. And uh, here over the rest of the Philippine Islands, it will be more on a localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening or local rainfall. Uh, so nothing to worry about. And as we take a look at the windy.com uh, uh, satellite animation, you can clearly see here the uh, clear uh, image of a tropical storm or tropical depression Cimarron, which is expected to track towards the northeast due to a passage of the uh, uh, 
uh, frontal system and this one will be the main concern over extreme load northern sun and uh, we are going to uh, focus our attention on this system beginning this uh, uh, tomorrow or on Saturday okay so far across the Philippine Islands we expect more of the uh, localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening here's the latest ensemble from the European model from easterlywave.com and you can clearly see here that uh, the potential tropical uh, cyclone Julian is likely to remain quasi-stationary over to the east of Batanes or Taiwan and it will intensify into a tropical storm or even as a category 1 typhoon that's the color coding of the ensemble while this one the uh, LPA 95W northeast of uh, Guam is expected to move towards the sea south of Japan so this is the tracking of that other system so nothing to worry about and this is the uh, uh, other uh, uh, potential LPA but it's not expected to intensify most of the rain bands of this LPA will be absorbed by the other system okay this uh, 95W and uh, this is the track of uh, tropical storm Cimarron or tropical depression Cimarron which is uh, expected to affect the coastal areas of southern Japan particularly Shikuku and Honshu now here's the uh, latest uh, forecast models that uh, we're going to show to you what happened on uh, the development of this potential uh, Julian. So by uh, tomorrow afternoon, Friday, it will reorganize here to the east of Batanes, becoming a tropical depression. And there's another one here over uh, north of Guam in the vicinity of Agrina, Agrina Islands and over the northernmost parts of uh, Guam or Marianas. And on Saturday, this system will still move southwest in response to a building high pressure over mainland China. And it will stay here to the east of uh, Batanes until uh, Sunday where it will start to move west-northwest to northwest towards uh, Taiwan area. Now on Monday, September 30, the system will uh, continue to intensify and it could become a... Uh, a strong typhoon category 1 or 2 and on uh, October 1st it will move closer towards northern Taiwan or along the Yama Island chain and on Wednesday it will move out of the Philippine air responsibility that will be on October 2 as a very powerful uh, average or midget sized uh, tropical cyclone so uh, we must be thankful that the southwest monsoon is uh, non-existent during the presence of this uh, potential typhoon and moving forward to thursday and up to uh, saturday october 5 or next uh, saturday it looks like everything is uh, normal across the western pacific with only easterly uh, wind flow across uh, eastern luzon and the Bicol region so far so good okay and uh, it's also the same with the American model it will develop uh, east of Batanes and it will uh, track uh, towards the um, northwest in the general direction of Taiwan but this system is making landfall over uh, Taiwan uh, on Wednesday October 2 okay so that will be the scenario of the American model if we wrap things up the track of this system I mean the forecast track will be somewhere here over that area based on the two computer models though we don't still don't know if the track will move to the west then the Batanes group will be in uh, grave danger of this uh, potential uh, typhoon that is set to form within the next uh, 24 hours becoming a tropical depression likely tomorrow so we'll be issuing storm watch or advisories here at typhoon 2000 and also follow pagasa uh, dost pagasa for the latest uh, bulletins on um, this potential tropical cyclone julian okay or julian whatever you want to call it 
of announce it. Okay, so let's take a look at the rain. How about the rain forecast? Nothing to worry about. It's only localized thunderstorms across most parts of the country, particularly in Mindanao and Visayas. Tomorrow, Friday afternoon, the uh, rain bands of uh, this potential uh, Julian will spread across Batanes and uh, northern Cagayan, while uh, localized thunderstorms will continue across uh, uh, Metro Manila, Central Luzon, uh, Mindanao, and on Saturday, it looks like the outer rain bands will begin to bring uh, thunderstorms across the uh, western sections of Ilocos region, including uh, uh, Cagayan Valley. So watch out for lightning strikes and heavy rainfall brought about by the uh, rain bands of this uh, uh, tropical uh, system or soon to be tropical uh, storm or tropical depression Julian. Now on Sunday, it's likely to become a powerful system. Now the uh, uh, rain bands will continue to affect northern Luzon and the Batanes Pabuyong Cobab Islands. And on Monday, the first day, the last day of September, the system will again, uh, will begin to shrink, becoming a small uh, sized circulation. And it will only affect the Batanes group of islands as you can see it here uh, the rest of the philippine islands is uh, having some westerly winds but nothing that will generate uh, on and off rainfall okay and on october 1 the system will be approaching uh, northern taiwan while over luzon it will be generally fair with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms over mindanao uh, Palawan and the Visayas. Okay, so this will be a non threat to our country, no indirect effects when it comes to the southwest monsoon. So we are good. Okay, so let's pray uh, uh, all the folks here, Filipino community over Taiwan, please take all necessary precautions for the arrival of this uh, uh, soon to be tropical uh, cyclone or typhoon within the next five days now for the rainfall uh, forecast here's the uh, summary of that uh, forecast that we're going to show to you right now so uh, by saturday the these are now the rain bands of julian and as we move it into sunday there might be a rainfall of uh, up to 50 millimeters across the across extreme northern Luzon, but on Monday, since the system is becoming more compact, the outer rain bands will just uh, affect the area of Batanes, based on with what we are seeing here. So rainfall will be less than uh, 30 millimeters for 24 hours on Monday, September 30, as well as on October 1st. Where in uh, there might be uh, no effects or direct effects across extreme northern zone, just a little rainfall here over Batanes group of islands, and you can clearly see there that uh, our country is safe when it comes to the effects of this uh, potential typhoon. Now for the wave forecast, uh, everything is uh, uh, quiet. Okay. Calm to light waves will be expected in all waters of the Philippines, including here over the uh, central part of the Philippine Islands. The uh, uh, coastal waters will be calm to uh, almost 5.5 meters. Okay, 0.5 meters. The rest is just up to uh, 0.5 to 1 meter in wave height suitable for fishing and sea travel. Now, if we move this into uh, Saturday and Sunday, it looks like extreme northern zone on the coastal waters will be rough and dangerous to uh, fishing vessels and the sea crafts because of the development of the potential typhoon Julian. So, we expect wave heights of uh, more than 4 meters here, 3 meters here, okay, over the east of northern zone while... Uh, up to 3 meters to 5 meters over 
to the north of uh, Cagayan. But elsewhere, everything is okay. So that's the uh, latest uh, wave forecast. We will keep you updated on the uh, latest uh, wave forecast in the coming uh, updates. So uh, except for the coastal waters of Northern Luzon, everything is uh, light, come to light. So uh, uh, fishermen living over extreme Northern Luzon, please take all necessary precautions this weekend until likely October 1 or two okay and then October 3 the waves here will uh, slowly improve so please take all the side precautions now before we leave you here's the latest global topics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA valid for the next two to three weeks we're in on the third week it will be highly uncertain uh, less than 50 percent probability so for week two valid October 2 to October 8 there might be below average rainfall over central and southern Philippines except for Mindanao because of those localized thunderstorms and above average rainfall here over Taiwan, uh, southern islands of Japan, uh, parts of South Korea and western Japan because of the passage of the soon-to-be uh, Typhoon Julian to the east of uh, Taiwan or Batanes. Uh, while over uh, Indonesia Papua New Guinea, Malaysia, it will be more than 60% uh, of above average rainfall because of the uh, development of the La Nina. Okay, now October 9 to October 15, on the third week, which is highly uncertain, the weather across the Philippine Islands will be normal, meaning in the afternoon there might be some rain showers and thunderstorms in the morning sunny skies good weather but here over uh, indonesia malaysia and uh, papua new guinea it will remain uh, more than uh, 65 percent of above average rainfall but so far so good on the third week of this forecast it looks like uh, there will be no tropical cyclone formation that's a blessing for the next uh, two weeks again we will monitor the uh, development of uh, uh, tropical uh, or soon to be tropical depression uh, Julian which could become a uh, typhoon within the next five days to the east of Batanes with a track either towards Batanes, Taiwan or uh, Ryukyu Islands in the southern islands of Japan so there you go that's the latest for this uh, uh, Thursday and uh, we will return again uh, likely on uh, Saturday to give you the very latest on the development of Tropical Cyclone Julian. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying good day to all. Have a great weekend ahead. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel.